Hi friends, today's adventure is going to be hot, super hot. So I am in Eastern Pennsylvania for work. It's very exciting. It's uh, actually, it sucks, it's cold here. Um, but got off a little bit early today because there's a town, there's a ghost town, it's called Centralia that's not too far from here. And this town, I've been to lots of ghost towns before, but this one's a little bit different. So, and the reason why, this, this town has been on fire since 1962. Let me say that again. This town has been on fire since 1962. It was an old coal mining town um, back in the early 1900s and whatnot. Um, and so, the town decided to, um, I guess they have their uh, their trash piles, what do you call those? Landfills, that's the word, landfills. So they decided that their landfill was getting kind of uh, big, as trash is wont to do. Uh, so they thought that the right decision would be just be to burn it, just burn our trash. Well, there's also being coal mines, I guess it lit the coal mines on fire, so the underground of this town, like I said, it's been on fire for 50 something years, almost 60 years. Um, it's just interesting. There were thousands of people that lived there. They all, over the period of a few decades, um, there's some interesting things that happened um, as the ground continued to burn. Um, you couldn't put gas anymore there. Like uh, there can't be uh, like gas stations because uh, fuel would catch on fire underground. Um, it started creating all these um, sinkholes because uh, basically the, the ground is swallowing up the land up, you know, above ground. So there was a kid that I guess died in the early 80s, got swallowed up by a sinkhole, which is pretty scary if you think about it because that's where I'm going and I'm going hiking to various things. But anyway, um, but yeah, thousands of people used to live there and then the government actually condemned it so um and they just reclaimed all the residents and just evicted all the residents uh they just declared eminent domain and um yeah which is pretty crazy so as of 2013 i guess there was only like six residents that still live there and the government decided that they were going to let these people live out uh, until they died um, I don't know if they're dead yet. I couldn't find anything as I was exploring other people's YouTube pages and the old Wikipedias and whatnot. I don't know what goes on there. I don't know if there's still people living there. Um, a couple things I do know is there's an old abandoned highway there. You can see how bumpy it is. Pennsylvania just sucks for so many reasons. One of them is potholes and highways and roads. It just sucks. Um, but a couple things I do know, there's an abandoned highway there, which probably is just as bumpy as this one, uh, that's called Graffiti Highway, so there's just like a mile of just people go there and graffiti it, so we're going to go walk that, um, there's a couple of, um, I guess escape, like air vents, um, you're supposed to be able to smell the smoke, um, it's supposed to be really poisonous too, that's another thing you have to be careful about too, it's, uh, what do you call that, carbon, carbon dioxide? Um, yeah, so look out for that too. Oh yeah, that's the bumps, the stupid bumps of Pennsylvania. Uh, and yeah, I'm not in my van. Van off the gray is back in Florida. Uh, I am in a rental car because, like I said, I am here for work. Um, it's just nice to be in here, Toyota. So uh, stay tuned. Let's uh, check this place out. Um, the parking spot, as you can see, is, well, a cemetery. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going for this uh, graffiti highway, which is one of the cool things to do here. But it's muddy. It's gross. Kind of a nice day, though. Uh, 
the only things that were really kind of given away is a little bit of a pathway and there's some graffiti on the trees so i'm thinking that uh might be a sign that i'm going in the right direction and holy shit it is my deep so uh let's see where this goes so this is it the world famous graffiti highway um it is well, exactly what you think it would be. It's a highway filled for miles of graffiti. Pretty rad. I guess I should probably take some pictures. Um, curious to see how many dicks are painted on here. Let me see the over under is maybe a thousand. There's one. There's a dick. Sydney rules. Maybe. Jason and Brooke. Oh, it's cute. Dick. Big dick, little dick, dick, dicks everywhere. So I guess this used to be the main highway in and out of town until it started cracking and breaking, swallowing cars. It's directly underneath me, I guess is where the coal mines are that are on fire. The thing that pisses me off is people come here and they paint, which is cool. They leave all their garbage here. There are literally cans and cans and cans and cans of garbage. It's just, uh, well, it's stupid. So somewhere around here, we are looking for the ventilation tubes from the coal miners from when this used to be, well, the coal mining place. This place is creepy. Fuck. Ah. I'm guessing that's what these things are. I kind of expected them to, I don't know, have some sort of smoke coming out of them, being the fact that it's on fire underneath. There's a few of them out here. It is garbage central. Looks like another cemetery. Oh, it looks like there's a house over there. Rad. Yeah, there's totally a house over there, which is weird because it's only supposed to be a handful. Almost nervous to continue walking. It looks 
looks like a badass house. Oh God. <laughs> that's a, well, that's a dead mountain lion. I almost stepped in because I'm recording. I think that's my sign that I should walk away. I got mauled by something I don't want to be out here for. It's just crazy. I keep driving around. I just keep finding these roads that used to be, you know, probably paved roads 50 plus years ago. Used to have houses, probably gas stations, churches. Now I'm just, uh, well, try not to mess up this rental car, but it's just, uh, just a ghost town. It's so eerie, and like everywhere you see freaking windmills all over like the drive-in everywhere you go is just windmills which just kind of adds to the eeriness for some reason for me um, yeah you can see these roads they you know they, they used to once go somewhere and they 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 go in every direction and I'm just kind of driving and seeing where they take me which usually just takes me to more garbage what though this should be an ad for Toyota Corolla this thing has gone everywhere I wonder if this is one of the seven residents what do you mean they're still alive why would you live here it's a house nicely kept lawn garbage out front Of the road. That was relatively anticlimactic. So all in all, probably not the most exciting video you watched today, but uh, it was a really cool trip. I mean, um, it is very, very eerie there. Uh, there's more traffic than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it wasn't crazy traffic, but it's basically just a bunch of, well, people like me going to take pictures for their Instagram. Um, I mean, it is what it is, but it was, uh, it's crazy how much graffiti was there. Um, but I think the, the coolest thing was just driving around through those old roads, uh, that have been, well, gone since 1980s or whenever the whole place, the whole town was vacated. Um, it was cool to see some of the other towns nearby. You know, I just kind of like imagine that that's where some of the people have gone to, uh, when they were evicted from their homes, and I guess the government paid them some sort of dividends. I don't know, whatever. I'm still waiting for my tax return. Um, but yeah, that was it. That was Central Centralia, Pennsylvania, uh, and the uh, Graffiti Highway. It's cool, right? It's cool. Worth it. Enjoy some of this beautiful winter Pennsylvania weather. God, it sucks here. Why on earth does anybody live in Pennsylvania? It is a shit, shit state. <laughs> Everybody smokes. Very, very homely. I got to the point where I actually Googled what the incest rates were in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just... They are a friendly bunch over here. I'll tell you that. Got a weird accent. It sounds like a, like some sort of a hybrid of Canadian mixed with I don't know, 
Midwesterny Minnesota. It's like, hi, how are ya? Hey, how are ya? How you doing today? Eh? Hey. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. What's good? What you doing there? Yeah. From Pennsylvania. No, I'm not from Canada. I'm from Pennsylvania, right here. Born and raised. It sounded Irish. It's a leprechaun or something. Well, whatever. You're having a good day.